Hello. This uh, intro is going to serve as both the intro to my, <coughs> we'll call it channel, uh, but also um, a Let's Play. Um, I am a game industry veteran, and I've been making games for about 20 years now. Uh, but I haven't really ever done the streaming part of it. Uh, I spent perhaps uh, the last decade in, in games, and then before that I was in mobile games. But not really too much about me. Uh, my name is Sean Borsky. I'm going to go by Deborsk. Um, currently, I am the VP of Design at NZXT. If you know about us, we are into PC gaming. Uh, this channel and videos are not endorsed or sponsored by NZXT. Uh, but of course I am using uh, a lot of NZXT hardware and part of this is a journey to get more into the streaming side of PC gaming something that I enjoy quite a bit I watch a number of channels and streamers on YouTube and Twitch uh, I've always kind of recognized that it looks like it's a pretty hard thing to do but I've never done it myself so part of this is understanding and building a little bit a bit of empathy as to how difficult or uh, fun it is to stream I'm going to mostly be doing recordings because I'm not yet brave enough to actually live stream, and I may never be. Um, so I thought an appropriate place to start, uh, and again, this will be uh, a, a kind of separated intro for the channel, but it will also start my first Let's Play, uh, which is going to be Halo. Um, I've been in the industry for 20 years. I've played all sorts of games. I'm a huge fan of all sorts of genres. Uh, I spent five years at Blizzard. I'm a huge fan of Blizzard games. Uh, but for whatever reason, uh, Halo, I never really gave a chance. Uh, I've definitely played it before. Um, multiplayer a little bit uh, here and there, but I've never really given it a chance. It just never kind of hit with me, you know, one of those things. So uh, with Halo Master Chief being out and, and Halo Infinite uh, coming up pretty soon, uh, I thought uh, I would give it a shot. I asked for some tips on Twitter, uh, amplified by a friend of mine, uh, the Pope, uh, previously known as Xbox Pope, so very much appreciated there. And I got hundreds of comments and suggestions. One thing I heard is that the Kalo community likes to see people react, so this is going to be a, a dry run. I've never really seriously played through a Halo campaign. Uh, I know very little about the story other than Master Chief being a iconic Xbox symbol. Uh, I, of course, know that uh, Halo did a lot of new things and really reinvented a lot of what shooters meant for games in general and really kicked off a lot of the Xbox's success. So it's part of a cultural phenomenon that I, I just never really, never going to click with me. So I'm going to give it the college try. Um, and you're going to see a lot of my initial reactions uh, since I've never really played through the campaign. I'm one of those people that I really love campaigns and I love stories. Um, so, I mean, even with every Call of Duty, the good ones and the bad ones, I'll always buy them and always play through the campaign. Because uh, I just love being told a good story. and I, So I've heard from various people uh, a couple of different tips. Uh, so I'm basically going to play the, uh, the Halo collection, but in chronological release order. So that means that Halo Combat Evolved, then 2, then 3, then 3 ODST, then 4, then 5, then Reach. Uh, I've been told that is the ideal way to experience it. Um, I've also been told to play... Uh, on heroic <laughs> uh, or legendary difficulty, but not the first two games, so I will be playing on normal. Um, and I'm not really a very good player, so I expect to see me die a lot. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's part of the fun is just to experience it. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things, and I think the last thing that you'll see is I'll probably swap occasionally between uh, display modes, because this is going to be the remastered version, but I've been told emphatically by Halo fans that I need to play it on original graphics, so I will mostly be doing that. Um, neither here nor there, but um, I also do a podcast, the Art Eater podcast. I am a co-host. Uh, we record weekly, but we release more like every other week and whatnot, so if you want to hear about the craft of games and just discussion of the way that they're made in celebration of the creators... Uh, that is what the Art Eater podcast talks about. So you can go to uh, art-eater.com and you can see both articles uh, and podcasts. Um, I co-host it with um, an old business partner of mine and great friend, Richmond Lee. Uh, 
you can also follow him on Twitter, uh, Richmond underscore Lee. He is known as the, the art eater, and he always has insightful things to say about games and art. But enough about that. That's the end of the intro. So uh, I'm going to jump right into playing uh, Combat Evolved, the first Halo. And I will probably split it up into uh, an episode per uh, mission. I don't know how long the missions actually are, but I assume they're between 30 and 45 minutes. Uh, anyway... So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, time to get started on the campaign. Let's start it up. So far, the menu music sounds really, really great. Um, also, I'm terrible at commentating, so I apologize in advance. pretty good for a 20 year old game or 18 year old game I don't know something like that uh, I'm not sure if this is remastered graphics or not I think you use tab to turn them off but from my quick test I don't think it works in cutscenes so we will, we will find out I assume this is original I think we both know the answer to that have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes. Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon ticket now. Nothing Some good low-poly 3D for sure. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple PCS slash battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to combat alert alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. <laughs> and Cortana. Mm -hmm. Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. That's cool. I suspect this is remastered graphics. Uh, but either way, the models are pretty impressive. campier than I expected, but... Hmm. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is going to be your lucky day. Sure? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. Oh, 
tutorial time. Good. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing the health monitors online, sir. Reminds me of uh, old Counter Strike a little bit, especially with the style of. It's cool, some in world calibration stuff. <laughs> oh, nope, that's a note for me. I'm not an inverted person. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm not an inverted person. Only Ace Combat has that. <laughs> Otherwise, you got to do it right. Well, I have a 34-inch monitor, by the way, so sometimes stuff gets stretched or if I'm looking around, it's, it's widescreen. It's good, though. It's weird that it stretches the UI, but it doesn't really stretch the... Gameplay, that's good. Certain games like Assassin's Creed don't do it as well, so it's nice that the remastered version does it. Okay, it feels clear? Yeah. That's cool. I like how everything has like an in world kind of explanation so far. Suspicious, okay. Did too? Okay. Okay, I was like, wow, this looks pretty pretty good texture. Okay, there we go. We're back to original graphics now. Huh, interesting. It had a ton of detail. Hmm. Okay. Master Chief, sir, the situation is secure here. You're probably needed somewhere else. Okay. This looks crisp, though. Huh, I'm gonna be doing this a lot. I had a ton of detail in that remaster. A little too much, maybe. Well, yeah, the lighting's very different. Okay. Sir, Give me a gun. Okay. Man, I'm gonna be doing this a lot, just comparing what they changed. Man, they added a ton. Get clear, Chief! Looks like they're color coded or something. I don't know. 
It seems harder to read in the remaster. Interesting. I don't know anything about the Covenant other than that they're the enemy. A lot of different sizes, though. Oh, this guy? Okay, it's got it. Checkpoint. Oh yeah, the opening was definitely. S he looks pretty different. It's more of a purple too. Hmm. Yeah, you can't switch in cutscenes. Interesting. Report. It must have been one of their boarding parties. I guess an antimatter charge. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating code protocol article two for abandoning the ark. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a matter of speaking. The yeah, the original graphics is right way less uh, assisted lighting from the engine. This is a lot more textured. I appreciate sure they have a lot less memory to deal with, too. To me. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving the ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transplant. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Is Master Chief just super tall, or is he just safe. super short? Huh. Voice act is good, though. I like it. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutine handle the final operation. Excellent work, Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Master Chief is super tall. Good luck, man. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. Hmm. Whoever his voice actor is, it's pretty good. Loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. Okay. Don't get a gun yet? Cool. That's cool. Oh, I do get a gun. Okay. It's kind of fun that they like shoot once they're killed, like their hands still on the trigger or something. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. Oh yeah, assault rifle. I guess. I aim down sights. Okay, it's fine. The swans are kind of goofy. As the campiness to it. A lot of color. Let's go do a quick check here. What? Wow, that's so much more lighting. Okay. Taking a little more. Okay. Oh, there's no sprint. Okay, I guess it's fine. Really? I guess I just 20 old game. I'm not sure how cover works in the game yet, so we will find out. Not seem very threatening. Like, so. Need to reload, figured that out. I just switch weapons. It's pretty straightforward. So, like, are they like babies or they look pretty different? Oh. Unclear if headshots mean anything. 
I don't have what any down hell? sights, and my red kill is pretty large, so... Back to the airlock. Whew, man, they added a... Mm. I get why people don't like this. This is a lot of, uh... Huh, interesting. It's a lot easier to read without the additional lighting and texture, for sure. Help, Looks like they put a lot of effort into this. Ooh, damn. Okay, so one's red and one's orange, and unclear what the difference is. Oh, that jump is pretty annoying, for sure. Okay. Little dodge thing going on. Oh, I melee. They're using our lifeboat airlocks to attach their boarding craft. We go out and they come in. Can I? Yeah, that's a shoot. Shield. Okay. Let's find it. Oh, it's cute. Okay, got it. It's cool. We go to melee. Okay. And the lack of sprint is tripping me up quite a bit. Guys don't seem very ah. Oh wow, one hit kills him. It's pretty easy. These guys Oh okay. They're more dangerous, got it. Got it. I should play this on a harder difficulty. Should just be able to walk up to someone and smack them in the face. I mean, these are grunts, I guess. Like, not really supposed to be challenging. Is that health or? It's just like a thing. Okay. I guess I'm full on health, so it doesn't matter. Video game, not something you see a lot. I mean, obviously, Call of Duty's have it now, but. A game of this era with blood actually on the ground? That's pretty. pretty mature. Does anybody see him? Damn, he got away! He did. Ammo is everything in this game. I mean, I got a lot of ammo, but I mean, this is just the tutorial, basically. They're very translucent, or tr no. translucent's not the right word I'm looking for. Uh, check kind of iridescent is what I was thinking of. Yeah. Okay. This one. Not very purple. Oh, overshield, nice. Cool, cool. I guess I don't need help with my shields down. Or my shields not. I guess I'm gonna be pretty aggressive then. Uh, I guess my shields. Pretty well. Does it regenerate or. Huh. 
came from here, right? So. Nice. Accurate the gun is, but it seems pretty accurate. Not like, not like super accurate. Like an aim down sights would be cool, but not, they don't feel that threatening so far. Maybe it ramps up. Maybe I should play in heroic crews. I couldn't run and gun as much if I was playing on her own for sure. But whatever, I just like enjoying the story, so I don't need too much difficulty. Did I get a grenade or something? That'd be cool. Please just stand there, okay. Oh, right, shield, got it. This is fine, worked out fine. We're all fine. Wow, the shadows are super dark, but, but in the, the remastered, it's way too light. Yeah, I get why people are saying the atmosphere is different. Okay. The life pods are launching. We should hurry. Okay, that's how the help. Okay, I gotta help back. Oh. Warning. Glass doors closing. The covenant are destroying should the life pods. Chasing them or is the red like a better one or a? No. Follow the nav point, it will lead you to an opening. Maintenance? No. How do I... Okay, weird. Okay. How do I open it? I have a flashlight, okay. It's green, so I can open it. Not green, okay. Maybe I did it wrong. I did. What do I do? Uh, okay. Pot's gone, I guess. Pot's gone. Okay. If I got back in the other one, I might as well go that way. Flashlight. Not that way. Um, well, there's a way either, I guess. Did I miss a tunnel? Oh, I sure did. I'm good at this. I know video games. I'm detecting covenant movement outside the access ways. Activating oh, the motion green. tracker. Let's find a safe exit. We're too close. We need to find another route. Motion tracker shows all clear. Wait, we need to get to that door, but it's been damaged by explosion. Okay, not that way. Wait, wait. No, the door's control mechanism is offline, but it's taken a lot of damage. Can I hit it? Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, he did. Oh, they're easy to kill. Okay. I just sneak up on him. Ah! Uh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Uh, 
Okay, my shield does regenerate. Got you. I got you. I'm pretty sure on Heroic I would have been dead. It's a pretty sloppy play. Oh. Those guys are different colors. Okay. Okay. So they're a little late to kill me. Oh, nice. Oh. Yep, nice, nice. Four? Yep. Oh, no grenades, so I do get grenades. Oh, shit. He did. Man, they're kind of goofy. Like, I'm kind of surprised. I thought the enemies would be more like, like intimidating. But I guess not the bigger ones, but... Like, are they, am I killing children? I'm pretty... Like, they're, they're kids, or... I'm pretty confused. I mean, I guess they're meant to be fodder or something, but the they kind of have like cartoonish animations, like they're like wow, and they run away and stuff. I mean, they're easy to kill, obviously, but hmm. they don't even give them shields. It seems kind of like a dick move. Oh shit. This is a pretty kind of cool detail for this era of game where like when they die they kind of shoot their gun like their hand's still on the trigger. Nope, okay. That one's red, is he like... Oh, I have a grenade now, okay. Got you. Is that gonna jump or... Oh shit, I have no ammo. Okay. Go in here. Is my pistol got infinite ammo or the damage to superstructure is extensive? I don't know how much more abuse we ought to contain. There's one last lifeboat. Quickly, get aboard before it launches. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we did it. <laughs> now would be a very good time to leave. Punch. Ah! <laughs> Watch it. Look. Yeah, can't switch graphics and cutscenes. Confirm. Some of these older textures don't hold up as well, but overall, sure you take pretty impressive. We'll be fine. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you alright? Oh. Can you move? Well, I guess we're a lone hero. We can't, uh... Can't have soldiers with us or something. A lot of supplies, though. This is a grenade, some rifle. 
Oh, that lens flare is pretty cool. Warning. I detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. So they're bridged me. Moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Alert! Covenant dropship inbound. We must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. I like hide. Just do some hiding. Oh shit, okay, he sees me. We're just gonna run. Can I hurt those? We're just gonna run. We're gonna keep running. We're walking fastly, I suppose. No sprint button. Damn. Idea if I can hurt that at all. Oh, there's a dude. so goofy like the way they run the way they yell feels cartoonish I'm sure they explain like how the covenant works or something but kind of confused as to what the difference is between the big guys and the small guys whoa Kind of feels like it's at night or at dusk, but in the remastered, it looks more like it's during the day. It's kind of weird. Hmm. It's more impressive for sure, but hmm. yeah, I'm getting it. I get why people don't love the sort of the gun. The gun is kind of different too. Okay, keep it this way. Just curious. Peeps. Okay. This dude. Back, but until you showed up, I thought we were cooked. Oh, he looks pretty no different. Yeah, he looks more badass than the original. We're gonna keep it that way. These things. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, these look more alien. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave it this way. Okay. I have like a shield. That's a new one. You know what I mean? Ah. Oh, I suck. Yeah, that still, still counts. I feel like I shouldn't be able to rush them and get away with it, but we'll see. Pod. Oh, they did. I'll get some help though. Nice. Oh shit! The ship can shoot at you. That's kind of unfair.
I assume red means they have more health or something, but they seem... They seem just as weak to me, I don't know. Where'd he go? Oh. No, he did. Okay. Can I get, like, grenades, or...? Oh, another one. Uh-oh, another bandit dropping in behind us. They're trying to flank us. That's cool, kind of opens up. Easy to shoot him, though. Can they die or? Nope, no, he's dead. Okay. Rounds. Okay. Go on after him. Oh. Nice, more stuff. I guess I'm full. And I keep instinctively hitting sprint, like a shift for sprint. Oh, falling damage, okay. On the hard way. Shield's not very good against melee. It's kind of satisfying to hit him, though. Can I just do that, or do I need ammo? I mean, this is kind of a waste of ammo. Seeing something or oh, Hammer, we need transportation to the command shuttle. I'm on my way. So here. Look, more lifeboats. They're coming in fast. If those lifeboats make it down, coming right on top of Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh. Hammer, we need you to disengage your warthog. The master chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Roger, Cortana. Okay, Charlie team, warthog Same. deployed. Yeah. Now mm. Oh, nice. I know about Warhawks. I've seen reverse is blue. Alright. I guess I drive? Yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it here as I'm well past the first mission, it looks like. And this seems kind of open worldish. So, yeah. Alright then. See y'all next time.